All right, in today's episode, we are going to go over our new um, management system called Manage More. Um, show you how to log in, how to build orders, uh, go over a few different things here. So, uh, first, we're going to go to File, Open Company. It's going to ask you for your user login, so I'm just going to use mine. Hit OK. So bring you into the system right here. Let's go over some of these tabs at the top. Um, we could customize any of these tabs depending on the job that you guys are doing or whatnot. But first screen we have our customer care. Pretty much allows you to open up into um, like the MM list in the old software. So you have a lot of different search settings over here. You have the account, company, name, phone, email, other contact number, transaction numbers, payment numbers, incidents, uh, extended description, billing reference, etc, etc. So let's pull up our test account. So I'm going to go over to company and I'm going to pull up, just look for a company called test. Bam, got a test. Uh, initially what you're going to see is um, to the left here is your customer like address etc etc in this field right here you have an email um, that you could actually just send them an email right through manage more to whomever you could carbon copy blind carbon copy type in your subject message and you could also attach any images etc so uh, from there um, the next section here would be uh, customer statements so I'll show you any statements um, if they are due or etc etc so um, then you have a road map to, uh, display map to show actually it will use Google Maps to find um, the address and I'll show you where they're located etc so um, if you press on this button here that's where all your customer info is so if you need to change anything um, you could change them uh, customer template is a type of customer it is if it's a commercial uh, residential reseller. Um, I'm going to change these up so you'll see a couple different options here. So uh, then you'll have the account number, which you cannot change. Um, th these are going to be standard account numbers. They're not going to be no longer. They're they're going to have usernames. They're going to actually have account numbers. Uh, but you see, you have the company name, first last name. You have your bill to address and your ship to address. Here is uh, if you want to allow a different uh, ship to address, you put in the company name, contact name. Um, etc etc so there is a uh, freight number so if we are shipping on their account uh, not only do you want to put the account number here but you also want to put it here in the transaction notes so that it will print on the order so when it does go to shipping um, shipping will know to ship on their account number instead so um, you have your work phone home phone fax phone email other email if they have a website um, assign it to a salesperson you'll see the salespeople you can find where you are and click put you there you have a tax codes um, either if they are for tax or if they are tax exempt so um, class codes um, standard customer cus corporate customers you're not really gonna play around with this we are gonna um, start giving customers class codes um, going forward but uh, that's about it. Location, you're, another thing you're not going to play with um, unless we start opening more locations. Um, you're not going to have to play with this. So, um, But you could also inactivate account by clicking here. And, um, anytime you make a change in the system, you're going to want to hit the save button um, right here. So this will show view activity log to see if who changed whatever at any given time I'll tell you employee what employee at what location changed the information in the account um, I believe this is a paste attached document so if we need to attach um, say you want to attach the um, application form you could attach it right here so um, that's another thing we could get into later um, but you have other tabs here you have personal which will give them like if you want to get their driver's license information uh, legal information like their tax ID social security uh, we could actually put passwords on these accounts too so if uh, to protect when they do call in uh, you could assign them a password that needs to be verified when customer does call in so financial you could have your bank account information this is really good for ICPP um, you have uh, allow uh, on account purchases so you could actually invoice these people or not 
Um, if we don't have something on file, you're going to want to uncheck this and ask, it's going to ask for payment uh, before processing the order. Uh, customer terms, um, we could change this at any given time. Um, we have 30 day, 45 day, and 60 day demos. Um, change it to the whatever net terms. If you need any special net terms, just let me know. I could add some more in here. Um, but generally, if they are paying right away, I'm going to add another field is that's going to say pay with card on file. Um, if they have a, a purchase order for a constant shipment where they always order every month so many on one purchase order, um, we could put in a purchase order here and it'll reflect on all their statements. Um, you're not going to have to worry about the finance charges. Don't play with anything like this. Uh, we will have finance charges when they do go late and I will be the one setting those up. Notes will be the main notes that you see right here. Do not touch account. Uh, this has a, a character limit on it so any really crucial notes only need to go here. Um, other contacts, say if they have a bunch of different contacts here, go ahead and pick these here. If you're working with some of our uh, other accounts, our larger accounts, um, sub accounts is where you're going to want to put in your alternate shipping addresses. So uh, say if they do have um, a different location here in Glendale or something, you're, you go ahead, go ahead and put it here, assign it a sub account number, sub account name. That way they say, hey, I need it shipped to this address over here. Uh, when you build the order, you could actually select the sub account to, to have the shipping address changed. Statistics, it will show you pretty much their order cycle, um, how often they order if they are a big customer and someone you want to work with really well. You can take a look at their statistics to see you know, how often they are order, ordering and committed to the system. So um, Now from here, you're going to see in the screen right here, this is if you did have a password, um, this is where it would be. So when you do pull up your account, you could ask, well, I see that you have a password on your account. Um, could you go ahead and verify that? charges and credits depending on all the charges they will tell you if they're due on anything so you could actually see if a customer calls in one of the dealers calls in and they're order and they're about to order like ten thousand dollars worth of equipment but they're past due on um, five thousand dollars worth of stuff um, you, you want to start taking concern on that and say hey look uh, I noticed that you have something past due so it will show you right here um, you could ask them, hey, what's up with that payment? Why haven't we received it yet? Uh, what's going on here? It tells you when the account has been opened. Uh, this isn't going to reflect correctly just because the old system and the new system don't go together well. So um, anything going forward, it will be good. So I'll tell you who sales rep this is, last time they made a payment, how many payments have been applied, their terms, credit limit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. Um, this don't worry about it, just leave it at notes. Um, you're going to see um, these tabs to the right transactions. Uh, we'll show you all invoices right here. So invoices obviously after the order. So if you want to see all orders or all open orders, you hit the drop down uh, bar. You'll see all the different, if they have any quotes out, if they have any RMAs open, if they have any um, sales, o sales orders. Uh, open or all sales orders in general uh, you can take a look by just clicking down and see what's open what's this uh, stage of them by actually clicking on them as well so say if um, we click on this sales order I'll show you the order and it says this order is already processing for shipment no changes to the order can be made at this time so it looks like this was already turned into an invoice and it's actually been completed and shipped so um, let's go on a different one here see here so this one's still ordered open so you could see that okay yes they'll see it's open um, you could change the status um, here as well so payments we'll show you all the payments incidents this is gonna be the biggest one that you want to use okay anytime a customer calls in we're gonna start putting notes in the account we're going to say so and so called in at this given time asking for this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That way we have a track record of what's going on. We could go back in the history of their account to say, you know, they had a problem with this or they wanted to order that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In the actual incidents, when you click on them, you could read. There's an incident note where you'll put in your notes, and then um, 
and you could actually put an action taken. What did you do about it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You could set these incidents to high, low, close. So it's like someone you're working on trying to figure out um, availability of a product. You're going to want to put it on high, so you, you could actually run a report later on the day or the next day saying, okay, uh, these are people I still need to get back to uh, regarding some of the questions that they had. And when running these reports, you know, it, it really will help our customer service. So <clears throat> use the highs, lows, close. When you're finished with it, close, it'll gray it out. Low is something that maybe you're researching on doing something for them that's going to take longer than a day or two. Uh, that's when you want to put it on low. High is when um, obviously you want to get back with them as soon as possible. So tasks, you could assign a task to people. So uh, say if we need tech support to give these people a call, you could add new tasks by hitting this button here. Um, I could change it, templates. You could put call customer. I'm going to change these templates in here. So usually you just put it to do right now. To do issues with programming. contact method call them at this phone number or email address you can put instructions here you could assign it to say we need to assign it to Jose Tech so so or Helen let's see here Jose so we assigned it to him and we could you know pretty much tell him hey I need you to take a look at this so when he runs a report on his tasks um, he will see this say issues with programming please call this person that way he has a log of people that he can go one by one by one um, and actually take care of each problem one by one and actually have notes on anything that any uh, troubleshooting as well as in the incidents where Jose can now come in here and put in notes uh, customer had issues with receiving we tried this didn't work we tried this didn't work that way when maybe another tech comes in and says okay what has already been done uh, he, he already knows he doesn't have to run down Jose to say hey what happened with this did you already try this or that etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, that you could, he could try different troubleshooting methods so this these two are gonna be really big we're gonna wanna use these a lot so email um, I'll show you all the emails that were actually sent over the attachment it looks like sales orders and invoices were sent out you can actually create new by hitting the plus here and send a new email and it'll also reflect any emails so we will have a track record on every customer on any emails correlating with them so recurrence we're not really going to play with unless they're being built on like a monthly service or something uh, collections will show you in the past due uh, web tickets has not been set up yet but uh, it will be so uh, this is the customer care um, section here let's let's walk you through on building an actual order so when you go to transactions um, we go to all sales orders we have this drop down we go to all sales orders we could hit the plus button for all sales orders from here this is where we could build in our order say customer calls and says that they want to order um, 50 golds on 400 450 to 460 megahertz so in the description here I'm just going to type in Apollo gold and I could actually just scroll down to see okay they want 450 to 460 so grab that SKU here uh, we could type in the quantity so 50 it says it's out of stock which it's not we're gonna we're gonna still working on that right there but so from here we have 50 I show the price unit price extended price um, so say if you want say this customer gets the units at eighty dollars a piece we could actually override here and put eighty dollars so from there that's all done so you could actually put a memo here um, etc cetera, etc cetera. so let's see here so here we could put in a purchase order number invoice terms uh, if it's going to be a demo um, net terms do on a receipt is pretty much what we're going to use for bill on uh, customer's card on file. Um, we have the ship via all these different shipping methods. So UPS, USPS, FedEx. Uh, if you need something else, let me know. Uh, I could go over these real quick. FedEx one day, um, first priority overnight. 
uh, FedEx one day, which would be morning, uh, FedEx overnight, standard, FedEx second day, FedEx second day, that's going to be delivered on Saturday, FedEx Canada ground, FedEx ground, FedEx international economy, FedEx priority, Saturday, um, on site pick up, UPS one day, et cetera, et cetera. So it's pretty, I mean, if you have any questions of what these are, just let me know. Um, we'll have the ship day, so um, so say that that they ordered 50 units. We it's gonna automatically put it in order for fulfillment open. We could actually hit save from here, and you could actually email the sales order to the customer right off the bat. So this is the sales order. You can email it here, and it'll actually attach it for you, so n you don't have to do print to PDF anymore. Uh, I can just email it here. Say here is the attach sales order, and then just hit the send button. So don't need to email it to myself. So we'll hit close. So that's pretty much run down to customer care. Sales orders are now in there that you'll see. Now, if you want to see a track history of, of the SO list, uh, we will go to the next screen, which will be right here, to manage sales orders. From here, it will show you. You have all your orders, okay? Um, all the orders that are open, uh, ship completed, and their different stages as well. So, if you want to see like RMAs, um, let me go into that real quick. So, let's go into when you don't need to go into the company to actually build the sales order although it makes life a lot easier so if I close out of here here's sales order where you could just start creating an order where you can look up the account number type in the you have three tabs under here how you want to sort for account order full name order or company name order so I'm going to do a company name and put in test again so let that search here So, looked up test right away, got test in here to build the sales order. So, uh, you don't need to do that, but say test here, this this company named test, uh, needs to actually send in a uh, repair and set. Instead of creating an RMA, as RMAs are actually uh, for return merchandise authorization, um, you want to build a sales order for um a work order for repair so actually instead of building a sales order you'll see a process stage here order fulfillment or repair order so if this is repair you create a repair order uh, it's no longer going to be an RMA you build the order so uh, then again we could say what are they sending in gold 450 to 460 they're sending in 50 so they say they're sending in 50 okay so we have a repair order and then we will hit close so now when we go to the list we have them separated okay so we have right now it's automatically going to show you the order fulfillment anything that's open actual new products going out at the very bo bottom here you see order process to view uh, you're going to want to look at all repair orders so says that it's an inspection stage um, and I'll tell you like the receiving date uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. so you could actually modify this stuff so that way they're separate for RMA department and uh, new sales so <coughs> let's go over some of the other tabs from here to add a new customer you can click this button and add a new customer it gives you into the customer record uh, automatically assign an account number so we'll close this out if you want to do sales quote right here you can look up the account number but it'd be easier just going into cut the company going to test to do a sales quote transactions all sales quotes new sales quote and it already prefills the data so sales invoice don't need to play around with RMA. This is only going to be used for people that are actually returning for refund the product. So you have a time clock. You'll be able to log in, uh, keep track record of you guys' time logs. Um, 
clicking here. Sorry, my system's running a little slow here, so. It's just a general time clock, uh, but it will correlate with manage more. Um, and it'll pretty much give us a report saying, you know, hours worked, um, what time you were in, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know if this is something we're going to use where you guys actually have to type it in manually. I think what's going to happen is every time you log into the system, it's going to automatically log, uh, clock you in. Every time you log off, it will clock you out. So, and my computer is being fun. Let's go into another menu. Let's exit out of this. It's taking forever. Alright, so email was the next briefcase thing. Uh, you can see all the emails. Um, you can send new new email, etc., etc. It has a built-in email task. So this is where I told you you could actually see your tasks. Uh, what's assigned to who so or you could just assign random tasks in here to different people for, uh, to get to help you so um, something you can play around with then you have a calendar so people looking around for the calendar what date for what date you can actually just click the button and say okay this is the calendar here calculator I always lose my calculator under all the paper but you could do it right within the system instead of trying to find your calculator when you're helping a customer so scanning and attaching a document again you could assign it to a different account number but get it in here as well so inventory item list will show you the list of all of our uh, products show you the SKUs um, different category IDs products parts and products so anything that says PAR is a part anything that says P is a pager um, and then I think there's transmitters. Let me take a look here. Anyways, you probably never look at that, but. And then you have your dealer locator. I haven't set this up yet, but you'll be able to look if someone's looking for a dealer to find the nearest dealer to them and actually pull it up on Yahoo Maps, so which is pretty cool you know some people only like working with dealers tells you how many miles away from what zip code etc cetera, etc cetera, what their what their phone number is um, it's very useful when a lot of people are asking for references and where's all your dealers at etc cetera, etc cetera. you can pull well I have one here 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 so it's pretty cool then you have a check serial number you got a customer looking to say what do I have you can actually type in the serial number here and search for the actual serial number to see where it was, when it was sold, uh, and what account it was sold to. So, very useful tools here. So, that's just a brief rundown of Manage More. Uh, there's there's still a lot. Um, I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of questions for me. Um, there's a lot of other setups that I need to change for each and individual uh, job task still. But um, right now the system is functional. Uh, and um, we could start using it and I uh, want us to start using it so um, start playing around with it and I'll, I'll get you guys' usernames and passwords and then um, start telling me what else you guys need in there that way I can fully customize the system uh, to make it easier for everyone so like I said any questions let me know you guys have my phone number hopefully uh, but we'll take it from there